we started uh, lobbying for our pursuit of authority legislation, um, the word was that we would try to get the support of NAMI. And every, most psychologists know that the relationship between psychology and NAMI has been tenuous at best. And um, we tried to figure out many ways that Jennifer Morrison, one of our key lobbyists, um, fortunately had a relationship with the executive director of NAMI at the time of 2012. And so because of Jennifer, um, we actually got a panel at the state conference, the NAMI state conference, that was the first time in the history of the Illinois Psychological Association that we were able to get in front of the NAMI folks. And we did a presentation. We had uh, Dr. Bob Rinaldi, I believe, who's here, Dr. Marlon, Dr. Marlon Cooper was there, um, and a few other folks talking about what it was like to be a prescribing psychologist and the folks, the NAMI folks, stood on their chairs and cheered us and said, how can we help you? How can we help you? And then there was a, there was a representative from us, the uh, national NAMI who said, not so fast. <laughs> um, you know, that's not exactly where NAMI is right now. But anyway, I'm glad to say it's, um, it's 2019 now. And um, in that period between 2012 and 2019, um, we have developed a wonderful working relationship with NAMI, um, we, that I told, uh, I told the executive director that um, as soon as we passed our legislation that I would call her and that we would begin our partnership and indeed when we did I called her and we have been working together ever since. So John Chastitsky who is a fabulous community a psychologist and on the faculty of the Chicago School of Professional Psychology has done um, 30, 35 years of service in many of our social service organizations throughout the state. He's been a great advocate for the poor and for those who are not most, yet, who are inadequately served with mental health services. Uh, has been on state NAMI for many, many years and has been a great advocate for the authority. Dr. John Hutchinson. Thank you, Brian. I think that uh, I don't have much more to add to the accolades for Beth, except I think she embodies the connector of that uh, key social figure who brings people together is what a remarkable group we have together today and uh, along these efforts. As Beth said, I'm a psychologist. I've uh, been practicing for over 30 years. I've been an APA member for over 30 years. But over the course of my time, in addition to being in academic settings, I was primarily in community mental health, practicing in rural areas in southern Illinois, in more urban areas, all of the medically underserved. Uh, I saw firsthand the disparity of access to, uh, to medical care of all kinds, especially mental health care, uh, from you know, Cairo and Vienna communities I've worked with before to some of the more urban suburbs here in the, in the Chicago area. So, so as I was trained, as many of you were, we, we focused on things like affordability, uh, acceptability and accessibility of care, and that's what we're all about today, is creating greater accessibility to the to quality care. Um, so as Beth mentioned, the, uh, some of my colleagues, I'm here representing NAMI Illinois, which is the uh, statewide affiliate of NAMI, uh, a group that is primarily, uh, it's all about supporting those who are living with mental illness and their families is primarily made up of members uh, who are themselves living with mental illness or who are working closely with family members who are on that journey. Uh, and then there are some of us who, because of our concern, uh, as, as professionals, uh, choose to be part of the organization. But of course, all of us in this room are touched by those who are living with mental illness if we are not living with one ourselves. Uh, so it's been an important issue for us, and as Beth said, we were not the quickest to, as, a, as an organization, we were not the quickest to warm to this concept. Uh, I think that uh, the, the, um, the quick uh, assumption was that this was all about uh, financial uh, improvements and uh, uh, fighting one profession against another and those sorts of things. But it was with uh, Beth's efforts and those of many other folks that those around our board table became convinced that, uh, that this really was a sincere effort to increase access to high quality care provided by professionals who were well trained, who had experience, who had, who had other resources available to them so that our members and their family members uh, can count on having greater access to care over time. 
It took a while. It took a while for us, to, for us as an organization, to warm to the concept. Uh, and so, uh, best wishes to you. Uh, would encourage those from other states and other countries to uh, learn from Beth and all the others in the room who made this made this happen. I'm convinced, and now I'm always convinced that through the care provided by those who choose to go through this rigorous path, uh, there will be greater access accessibility to care. So Beth, thank you, and thank you all of you.